Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Mommy? Where'd you go, Mommy? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What? What is it? <laughs> kissy, 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 What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What is it, Santa? What is it, my Santa? What is it, my Santa, 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 Santa? Mommy. Mommy. Santa. Santa. Can I have the toy? Can I have it? Oh, I got it. I got it. He's mine. Give me that. Give me that. That's my baby. Is that my baby? Is that my baby? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, you smell the baby on me. Because he was chewing on my feet. Can you smell the baby? Can you smell the baby? Do, 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 do. Boop. <gasps> Ready? <gasps> Get it. Get it. Get it. Ready? You ready? Go get it. You got that toy, Mama. Hi again, guys. This is Tiffany, Rescue House One. Wanted to jump on and give you a Senna update. <clears throat> Figured we'd do it inside where it's nice and cool and she's comfortable in her room. What are you doing? Get that one? No, you don't want that one? Come here. Come here. Like, nope, you have the phone. You have the phone, so I'm not coming. It's okay, I come to you. <sighs> doot, 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 doot. Santa, 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 Santa. Give me that baby. Give me that baby. That your baby? Oh, I'm gonna take the big one. She is such a happy girl. She loves to play. She loves her babies. She does zoomies now. She jumps up in the air and puts her paws on your shoulders and kisses you and knocks you over. She is just such a beautiful soul. Such a delight. So special. She loves her babies, as you can see. There's a bunny. Oh, I think I gotta get the bunny too. Uh oh. What's this one? <gasps> mousy. There's a mousy. You gotta get mousy. <laughs> she is really coming around. She is doing so well. Um. 
she's great in her room. This is her safe place. This is where she comes to life the most. Um, she's doing better in the yard. She's still terrified of the house next door. Um, whenever that door opens next door, there's any noise next door, she reverts into that fearful uh, mode. But other than that, she's gotten much better in the yard as well. She walks around, she runs around, she plays with toys. She is still very fearful of the outside world, but she has made huge strides in her comfort zone, which we could not be happier about. Yes, you've got lots of babies over there too. Lots of babies. Lots of babies you have. Lots of babies you have. I know you hate the phone. Look, I'm getting the stink eye right now. <laughs> I'm getting the stink eye because of the phone. Um, no, I have not put her in the pool. Um, I don't want to do that to her. I don't want to scare her. Um, she has her comfort zones and she's becoming more comfortable outside. So I fear if she's terrified of water um, and I do that to her that she won't come outside anymore. So I don't want to do that to her. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you mad at the phone? Are you mad because I have the phone on you? She loves little dogs. Um, we know that from experience, from Bravo and Otto. She really kind of comes to life with little dogs. She has seen Laz and really, really was interested um, and got very excited when she saw him. Unfortunately, Laz cannot be around any other dogs yet. Um, we have not gotten the all clear for that, so I can't really introduce them, um, unfortunately. But she did see him from afar and was very, very excited to see him. Hi. And um, if you've watched all of our videos in the past, you know that she was great with Bravo. Um, they were always together in the yard. She was great with Otto. She loved him as well. I think when she knows that they are small and they are non-threatening, um, she can kind of let her guard down. You got all your babies? Do you got all your babies? How do you choose? How do you choose which one? You've got so many. She is absolutely beautiful. She is such a pure, loving, wonderful soul. And um, she deserves a wonderful, perfect home with somebody who understands her needs, um, understands her fears, somebody that's willing to come and spend some time with her here, getting to know her um, before attempting to bring her home, somebody that has a secured fenced-in yard, a nice, calm, quiet home. We do believe that she had babies in the past, yes. Um, just from looking at her abdomen, um, I do believe she had at least one litter in the past. I also think that's why she is the way she is with all of her babies in her room and the smaller dogs. Because I think she was a mommy. What are you doing, mommy? It's amazing to see how far she has come when she greets you with her tail wagging and her butt wiggling and she jumps up on you and she just kisses your face off 
and she runs around and does zoomies. It's just, it's amazing to witness after everything that she's been through, after how broken and terrified she was when he brought her into this rescue house. Um, I don't know if all of you might remember, she laid on that bed right there with her face pressed against the wall and would not move, wouldn't lift her head, wouldn't make eye contact. I had to carry her in and out of this room several times a day just to go potty outside. But all that is over now. She goes in and out on her own. She loves going outside. She loves exploring the house. She loves her babies. She loves her people. <laughs> right, sweetheart? She truly is just a beautiful, gentle soul. What are you doing? What are you doing? And she's beautiful, of course. <gasps> What's this one? Do you want this one too? Okay, get that one too. I gotta have all the babies, all the babies. She is adorable. She is beautiful. Uh, no, I cannot take her, Linda. I wish I could. I am um, currently at my max. I have my two dogs, Gunner and Cloud, and then I am still fostering Mommy Tanya, <clears throat> who is pretty much going to become a forever foster for me um, because she is another feral dog that we just couldn't find the right home for. So I unfortunately am maxed out. If I was not maxed out, Santa would be coming home with me. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. What is it? What is it, Mama? What is it, Mama? Whoever does get this girl is going to be very, very lucky, I promise. Very lucky. She's amazing. Um... Gunner is home and resting. Thank you for asking. Um, our, my uh, friend and our fellow 100 plus um, colleague Gracie uh, was actually just at my house checking on them um, while I'm here at work, and he's doing he's doing better. So thank you, thank you for asking. Um, Otto, uh, as far as I know, Otto is still in the hospital in oxygen but he was making small improvements as of last night, so please keep Otto in your prayers. Otto was Senna's little buddy for quite some time. Right? You loved that little guy, didn't you? Yes, you did. So we are all praying for Otto. Yeah, are you done playing now? You want to take a nap? You want to take a nap now? So guys, I am putting it out there if anybody is interested in Senna. Again, it will have to be the perfect home for her. Um, obviously, somebody that has children, has a lot of in and out, has a lot of commotion in their home is not going to work for her because she's already going to take uh, quite a while to adjust to a new environment. 
So an environment where there is a lot of commotion, a lot of noise, is not going to be the best option for her. She's going to need a nice, calm, quiet home. Um, she is going to need a very secured, fenced-in backyard because she does not walk on a leash. Um, and she is terrified of the outside world. <clears throat> Hi. If you have other dogs, obviously a meet and greet would be a must. We know for sure that she is okay with smaller dogs um, that she feels are non-threatening to her. Bigger dogs she seems to be fearful of. Um, not saying it wouldn't work with a bigger dog if it was the right dog. No idea about cats. Hi, sweetheart. But you're definitely going to have to let her on the couch <laughs> in your home. And she will probably want to sleep in bed as well. And, of course, you're going to have to have plenty of room for all of the babies that she requires. <laughs> so, if anybody is interested in learning more about what the process would be to bring this beautiful girl home, you can send us an email to 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com or you can give us a call at 877-506-8100. Hey, sweetheart, you going to take a nap now? You going to take a nap now? So this is Senna, Rescue House 1, 100 plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. We're going to go take a nap now. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs>